What is this all about? What's this guy? Sergeant John What's this Reed? all about? It's about official OCP business, so please get lost. I think we got four or five days set up. Hey, thing. this is bullshit! I take my orders from. Is this shit? Corporations need regulation. Does this justify a state? No. Again, people people sort of think of government as this thing that magically makes things right. And there's and what they don't get is the only thing government does is it basically it adds immoral violence to society by doing things that you and I don't have the right to do. If there's some corporation like dumping sewage in our water supply, we already have the right to do something about that. And people can bicker about, well, what exactly should we do? Like, do we start out nice and say, hey, you're polluting our water supply, stop it. Or, you know, at what point do you act? But it's really a cop out for people. It's people saying, I don't want to have to be responsible to deal with anything. I want this big thing called government to do it. And I'm scared of this. Like, I'm scared of corporations. You know, there's a big list that people can be scared of. I'm scared of immigrants. I'm scared of crime. I'm scared of, I'm scared of corporations doing nasty things. Being scared of somebody doing nasty things, whether your fear is, is, has any foundation or not, doesn't give anyone an exemption from morality. And to say that we need some people to have special extra powers and the right to rule in order to protect us is always patently insane. And Corporations is a fine example. Who do you think corporations go to to get that power, to get away with what they get away with when they actually do nasty stuff and get protection? They get protection from the state because they buy influence and they buy influence that'll squish their competition and give them, you know, the whole notion of a corporation is it's a legal entity anyway. It's something made up by government usually so they're not liable for damage they do because well this thing called a corporation did it you can go sue that thing that isn't even a thing it's not even people it's this magical thing that has magical rights because government said so but when people say you know well we need government to protect against and then they list something that's a threat because of government it's just oh they just haven't thought of it it's like well they're they're scary drug dealers we need government. There are only scary drug dealers because of the war on drugs. There aren't scary wine cooler dealers because alcohol prohibition stopped. So all of the related crime and violence and gang warfare stopped. And, but people don't understand it enough. So they look at a problem that's totally the result of government and they think this is why we need government or like terrorism. We need government to protect us from terrorists. Why do you think some random person on the other side of the world wants to hurt you? It's because of what your government is doing on the other side of the world. And yet you're still saying that government is what we need to protect us from the people who only hate us because of what the government did in the first place. And half the time, it's not even terrorists doing it. It's government doing it and pretending it's terrorists. So we need it. We need government to protect us from itself. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I'm reading Fool's Errand right now by Scott Horton, and he makes the greatest argument for the existence of blowback that I, I, I've ever read. And that's just in the first chapter, so I, I still have a lot to go on. And Larry Sasser emails in, you focus on government taking our freedoms. I believe our founders did a pretty good job of protecting us from government. We do have the ability to get rid of bad actors in the government. Not a perfect system, but that will come when people become perfect. Our founders did not know about corporations and did not foresee their potential power, so did not protect us from them. Corporations now have the most uh, benefits of citizenship without most of the constraints. I fear corporate control of my life far more than government control. Well, that's an interesting point of view, and it's certainly one that many people uh, have. Uh, I think it's misguided. Uh, uh, to my recollection, uh, uh, no corporation uh, forces anyone to buy its product. Uh, uh, Walmart does not hold a gun to my head when I go in to patronize the store. Uh, if I chose to stop patronizing Walmart, I'd simply walk away from the store and that would be the end of the story. Uh, likewise with other corporations. 
The corporations have only as much power as they wield through government. Corporations didn't run the Holocaust. Corporations weren't running Pol Pot's regime. Corporations were not running Stalinist Russia. Governments were running these, these, the, these abominable places. And when we see great crimes being committed, uh, we're seeing the work of government in every instance. Private individuals don't have the means to, to mount huge massacres. Corporations don't have the means uh, or, or the power to carry out these great crimes. Only governments have the means, and often, sad to say, they have the incentive to carry out great crimes. So the idea that you're more afraid of a, a corporation than, or of corporations uh, as a group than you are of government, uh, I, I think just simply does not comport with the way corporations and governments have behaved in the past. Uh, we're talking about the organized uh, control of violence when we talk about government. When we talk about corporations, we're talking about firms that uh, will last only so long as people choose to do business with them. Unless, of course, the government uses its coercive power to come along and bail them out when private individuals no longer want to support them, uh, as the government is now doing for many of these big financial institutions. So uh, we need to draw a distinction between where the real danger lies because of the control of violent force in governments uh, and where relatively limited danger lies because we have competition, because we have somewhere else to go, because uh, we're not at the mercy uh, of a corporation or of corporations as a group. Now, having said that, uh, I certainly believe it's quite obvious that many corporations have extremely large amounts of clout with the government. Uh, I, I was talking a while ago about the revolving door, about the way uh, individuals go in and out of government service. Uh, it's, it's most notorious with the Department of Defense, but it happens across the board in government. Uh, and this is simply a way of demonstrating that in a government that's got a lot of power, particularly regulatory power or large spending power, it's going to attract interest groups, firms, uh, that hope to benefit from some form of government privilege. But it's the government privilege that attracts them. If government were smaller, if it didn't exercise these functions, there would be no attraction there and people would have to compete in an open market. So I, 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 I simply think it's a, a, a big mistake for people to, to fear the corporations as such. Uh, they're not dangerous. What's dangerous is the corporation allied with and making use of government's coercive force. Um, the other question was about when, when corporations or governments, when you're sort of stuck with the choice of you have to work for them or you kind of start. Again, a corporation can't do that on its own without the government forcibly, legally ruling out other options. Um, and a lot of that has to do with land ownership. Like a government will show up and say, everything from this line to the line 5,000 miles over there, it's ours. You don't own any of it. We're going to give it to our huge corporation buddies. And unless you want to starve to death, you don't have any land. You don't get to farm. You don't get to hunt, gather, or do what, anything. If you want to live on that land that we just declared we own, you have to pay us rent, known as property taxes. And golly gee, it happens that thanks to us, the only uh, option you have is to work for our buddies in this giant corporation. Again, they can't force that unless they have the government there to do it. And so they get intertwined and people blame the corporations and often miss. And you know, using government to do that is completely immoral. So what the corporations do is immoral. Well, people miss the fact that they can't do that if there isn't a government there. Like if a private company showed up and said, uh, we own all of Argentina. And everybody living there said, no, you don't. The corporation would go, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> it's like, I'm a CEO, what am I going to do? Go door to door and tell them you have to... Unless they have a big powerful government that they can convince to enforce their claims, again, all they can do is offer jobs or offer to sell goods, and all people have to do is go, no, I can farm my own, I can work for somebody else, I can you know, do whatever. If you're not ruling out my other options, you're not oppressing me.